It's those friends of mine, smiling friends of mine. It's those friends of mine, those crazy friends of mine. I've gotta let me in. Mind Blowing TV went out to the leafy suburbs of Melbourne to talk to Mark Silviera, who stars as Harsha in Mind Blowing World's recently released Australian feature film, Porno. So, my name is Mark Silviera, and I work for myself doing a number of things, mainly the sales and marketing side of things, uh, as well as doing the acting side of things whenever I get a chance. Wow! Pizza. I usually get a bag of all sorts in here, mate. I, I, <laughs> it, goes, it goes back to 1986, 87, mm -hmm. and I was sitting there watching TV, and uh, I thought to myself, you know what, I can, I can do this. So I rang Grundy's in those days, <laughs> the only name I knew, and I said to them, I want to be on television to the lady on reception. She said, oh, okay, yep, that's fine. Have you got an agent? I said, what's an agent? She said, that's someone who actually gets you work. I said, no, I haven't got one of those. Where do I get one? And she said, look, I'm not supposed to do this. And she gave me the name of an agent that had just opened up in Hawthorne. So I rang this lady and she says to me, so that's fine. Um, have you done any acting? Uh, you know, are you, have you been to NIDA? No, I haven't. Have you done any courses? No, I haven't done any courses. And then she says, so you've done no courses. Did you do drama at school? I said, no, I didn't do drama at school. She says, so I've got a list as long as your arm of people wanting to be on, on television. What makes you think that you're going to be? And I said, well, I've seen some of those people on there. I reckon I can do a better job than them. So she says to me, okay, smart ass, come in, let's have a chat. So that's how it started um, quite a few years ago. So I heard about porno uh, when I was working on another show called Better Man. Uh, and some of the people that were involved in that show were actually doing porno as well. Uh, and when I first heard about it, I thought, like everyone does, it was probably a porn, a porn story. And then when I got the script and I read it, I thought, this is, this is pretty interesting. And the role I played in it was really, really close to my heart because my parents migrated here, so they would have gone through some of the things that my character went through. Yeah, I actually arrived in Australia with my parents. I was nine years old at the time. And uh, there were five of us, so my brother, my sister, my mum, my dad. And we arrived here with $50 to start a whole new life. First place we arrived in was Perth. And in those days, you didn't fly, so we, we actually came by boat. So it was a two-week journey on this boat where, because we were kids, we were stuck in a, in a crèche for two weeks. So by the time we got to Perth, we were ready to party. Um, and uh, my mum actually knew someone in Perth. He said, would you guys like an Indian meal? And of course, two weeks on, on, a, on a white boat with white food. We thought, okay, we'll give it a crack. Worst meal I ever had. <laughs> Absolutely awful, awful curry. Chicken curry, I'll never forget it. When I first got the script, when I read it, it resonated in terms of what most people go through. We're a little different in that we came with our family. But if you look at the migrant, the Indian migrant population today, that's exactly what actually happens. The, the, the man will come over here, get things set up, and then the, the family will follow. So we, we weren't atypical, but I can, I, when I was reading it, I thought, yep, that's exactly what happens. And some of the trials and tribulations that Harsha goes through, uh, you know, he, he's a dentist in, in, in the film, in, in India, but when he comes here, can't get a gig as a dentist. So here he is delivering pizzas. So you can imagine how you go from quite a high social standing in your country of origin to being a delivery person here where you've got, you know, your, your skill sets are just not recognised. So my father, if I take him as an example, in India he was actually a, a supervisor at a, a factory that printed the first computer cards. So he's quite a skilled gentleman and he knew his stuff. When he came over here, of course, Australia wasn't doing anything like that at the time. So he ended up being a storeman at um, initially a business called Sun Electric and then at Australia Post for many, many years. In terms of the prep for, 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 for being harsher, I mean, um, it, apart from the actual emotional aspect, 
um, I actually looked to change some of my my physical attributes. So I actually had a haircut which was much more conservative, uh, and and for the haircut to actually bed in, I had to wear it like that for two weeks, right? <laughs> and some people loved it, other people hated it. So it's too, so that you know physically, I actually had to. Um, work around altering some of that and of course that gives you a bit of a different mindset as well when you're actually you know delivering delivering your part um, the other part about it was in terms of preparation for it was actually thinking thinking back to what it was like to be new to this country and you know and everything's new um, from the street signs to, 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 to absolutely everything else the quietness um, the fact that you know you can't just walk out and there's people everywhere, you know that, those sorts of things. So I had to actually cast my mind back. I also spent a bit of time speaking to my mum. Um, my father's passed away, but my mum uh, was was really instrumental in giving me a little bit of background. Plus some of the guys I know who have migrated recently that I was working with. So I spent a bit of time with them as well to actually get you know, get, get a bit more of a feel for for what I was doing. Doing a film like Porno has been brilliant because you don't get the opportunity to do something this extravagant that often. You know, and when I say extravagant, I don't mean the film is extravagant. I mean the fact that you're able to put your heart and soul into into a character. Um, you know, particularly when they've got when they're trying to make it as realistic as possible to what actually exists. I thought it was a brilliant opportunity, and and, and the boys, Damien and Paul. Absolute guns. In friends of mine, it's those friends of mine, those crazy friends of mine. I've gotta let me in, I've gotta let you out, I've gotta let me in, scream and shout.